Hi, this is Mr. Nobody, and today I'm here to talk about the Illuminati and conspiracies that I believe in. First off, I want to talk about why I'm wearing a pantyhose over my head. It is to conceal my identity, because I believe that my life is in danger with the Illuminati, and that they are going to assassinate me because of all the conspiracies I'm about to talk about that, has been, that they are involved in, that has been revealed to me from deep throat sources. First one I'm going to talk about is Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken is part of the Illuminati and they also belong to the KKK. Say Kentucky Fried Chicken three times and what do you have? The KKK. Shocking, huh? Also, are you going to believe that a white man from the South came up with a great recipe for fried chicken? Colonel Sanders was a white southern slave owner who stole the secret recipe from the original Chicken George of Roots. I mean, another injustice done to African Americans and the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, I'm going to talk about how I believe that the moon landing was faked. And that the moon landing was produced by both Hollywood and Illuminati. Come on. I mean, it sounded like Neil Armstrong was just reading from a script. I could see the director off camera going, Yes, Neil. Yes, Neil. Remember your, your line. Remember your line. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yes. Instead of Neil Armstrong saying, Holy shit, I'm about to be the first man to step on the moon. And holy shit, it's confirmed the moon is made of cheese. Which is another thing that the Illuminati doesn't want you to know. That the end of the world is going to happen because the moon is made of cheese and will be eaten by giant space rats. Another thing I want to also believe in is that Marilyn Monroe was killed by the Illuminati. Because she refused to join and give... Some of the members, pussy. I mean, come on, you know. I would be upset too. She was a gorgeous blonde bombshell. You know, and we're the Illuminati, man. You know, come on, just give us some pussy, Marilyn, all right? Another one I want to uh, talk about is that Saved by the Bell was a satanic show produced by the Illuminati. Come on. Screech was a demon. I mean, his voice alone gave me nightmares, visions of hell. And how the fuck did this guy get on a syndicated nationwide show to begin with? I mean, his voice sounded like nails being scratched across the chalkboard. I mean, come on. Also, you know, he's, he later on starred in a porno, which proves that Screech was a demon filled with who wanted to fornicate and was filled with satanic lust, and that porn actresses would fuck just about anything. I mean, you know, that I would jerk off to. Oops, uh, I mean, I would condemn to hell. Another thing I believe in is that the Doritos Company is part of the Illuminati, all right? Come on, look. Look at this. You know, look at their, look at their chips. Look at their chips. Look at the chips here. Alright? <laughs> I had to fly the whole one. I mean... <laughs> oh, there you go. Look at this. They're chips. You know, three-sided. Shaped like a pyramid. You know, so Doritos Company is definitely a part of the Illuminati here, okay? Another thing I believe in is that the Earth is flat, okay? The Earth is flat. That... Look at this... Flat Earth Globe Crew, and I believe that a lot of the ships that 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 disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle actually just fell off the edge of the Earth. All right. Also, a lot of people that disappeared in the world on Earth, they just fell off the edge of the Earth, man. All right. Come on. Come on. Anyone who believes the Earth is round has to be nuts. Okay. And last but not least, if anybody's wondering what this set, what my uh, shirt says, it says I date crack horse. Because junk sluts has such high standards. Anyway, this is Mr. Nobody signing off. And 
I hope you you enjoy my video. Give me a subscription to my YouTube channel, and let's keep fighting the good fight against the Illuminati and all these other racist bastards. Good night.